they got to use them more. Um, obviously, there's uh, different climate right now, but overall, that position uh, and being able to sort of be that central source to help folks navigate the situation, for lack of a better term, um, is something that's really going to be necessary. And it's one thing um, at the National Health Council, we have the, some of the leading patient advocacy organizations in the country, and many of those groups groups do the same thing in terms of navigating uh, their constituents to certain areas. So overall, that holistic sort of environment that we need to bring more people together to be giving that push rather than them having to, to pull it out. We're doing a number of things. We have a, a value initiative we've launched in the last two years or so, and, and much of that is around trying to understand how patients define values, so then we can go and start to implement things that can, can tie back to that, as well as uh, we have a, a rubric and a, a get ready checklist for patient organizations to uh, help them understand how they can become engaged in, in the value conversation, whether that be with a value assessment body or in value-based payment, um, talking about how they get involved uh, in different programs and how they can uh, use their advocacy to the, the best means possible.